Percy had a had a good year, had a fun year, had a big role, and it would be nice to see our team go a little bit further. But you know, that's that's what happened. So it seems like you've kind of been one of those players on the rise. Certainly, your performance at the Under 18 Worlds uh, put a lot of people on notice. So, what did you know? How did you prepare for that, and how were you feeling out there? I was just kind of trying to do the best with every opportunity that was given to me, and. And uh, you know, I was able to, to kind of run away with that as the season went on, but I felt it was pretty consistent throughout the year. So that's something I've I've taken a lot of pride in. And I guess uh, you know, who are who's been the toughest guy that you've had to go head to head against this year? I know you kind of have more of like a two way style. So who have been the toughest uh, forwards to go head to head against? Uh, probably a lot of the guys on London. They're always a tough matchup. Well coached, really good players, and they kind of do a lot right. So those matchups are always a good one to get up for. How do you project the way you play? translate to the next level have you given that much thought or uh no i'm just kind of someone who focuses on you know the day-to-day -day. i think good things come from that so i think you know like i said just just trying to do the best with with what's put in front of me and i think i'm just going to continue to do that day to day and i think you know as i do that i think i can fare against the next level how many who? teams did you interview with uh this week uh, i think it was almost most of them maybe 28 teams what was the oddest question you received? Uh, it, was, it was pretty good throughout the whole thing. There wasn't much, you know, crazy questions, but, you know, maybe just kind of comparing yourself to an animal. Um, that could be the only one. What was your answer? Uh, I said I, I kind of play like a jaguar. I think, you know, I, w I was going to say lion, but I guess they'd heard too many lions so far, so they, they didn't <laughs> let me choose that. <laughs> um, who's the player that you've tried to model your game after? Who are the guys that you're watching to take things from their game? Uh, I like Nick Suzuki. I've always watched his game closely. He's from the same town as me, so I think I kind of just like the way he plays the game, does everything right for his team. Coaches really trust him, and you know, there's really no area of his game that you can kind of say is flawed. Do you have a relationship with him? Uh, no, I I don't know him at all, but he's played for the same teams as me growing up. So. Who's your uh, favorite NHL team and favorite player growing up? Uh, I've liked the Leafs and Mitch Marner. Marner, he I'm from London, and he. Uh, Played on the London Knights, so that's kind of how I became a Leafs fan. Is when he went there, and I've always just really, really liked his game. Over the next couple of years, what uh, what area of your game do you really want to work on, and do you think that you think it'll make you more of a well-rounded player? Uh, I think trying to use my shot more. I think I have a good shot, but kind of mentality to to put more pucks on net. I think that only opens up uh, the rest of the game more. So I'm working on that a lot this summer. How many teams did you talk to? About 28. I want to ask which ones he didn't talk to, but pretty much covers it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you have any extra like outings or any any dinners or anything here while you've been here? No, just just staying pretty much in the hotel all week. Yeah. And then uh, for for you, you know, if you're saying like you know what what's your elevator pitch or what's your like you know how do you sell yourself to teams in terms of how you play and why it, why it matters. Uh, I think for me, mostly it's it's what I do on the ice and my actions. I do the talking for me. I've never been uh, the most talkative guy, but I think you know it's it's kind of what I do on the ice and and my my work habits and my my work ethic. I think it's the biggest thing for me. You know, and you mentioned Suzuki, and so you know he's obviously got that two-way capability. Was that always part of your game, or is that something that's developed more as you've kind of moved moved up the ranks? Uh, I think it's always been a part of my game, but at the same time, it's something I've worked a lot on, and I think you know it only makes you a better player to kind of do the little things right. So, a little bit of both. I think I've always kind of been one of those players who who takes pride in being responsible, but I think at the same time, like I said, it's something I've worked on. Uh, you know, the World Under 18s too. You had some real you know tough matchups. Obviously, the U.S. game. And it seemed like you know you, they they that team put a lot of trust in you to to play against top players. So you know, how much does that build your confidence? Yeah, it's great. I think, especially a coach like Gardner McDougall, to have trust in me, I think, is a, is an honor. And and you know, I thought I did have a pretty reliable role on that team, and and I was I was happy with that, and I was confident with that, and that's kind of the place I wanted to be in.